Welcome viewers to another projector review. Today we have a projector from the brand Top of Vision and this is a native 720p projector with 1080p support. So up next, we take a look at its design and features and I'll do a demonstration to give you a sample of its picture and sound quality. So stay tuned, that's up next. So welcome back and thanks for keeping it locked into this channel. This projector has a native resolution of 720p and supports 1080p media. It has 7500 lux. It has a contrast ratio of 6000 to 1. It has 60,000 hours lamp life. It has an optimal viewing distance of 2.8 meters delivering 100 inches of display. It's also capable of delivering 240 inches at 7 meters and it has a 5 watts internal speaker. So in your purchase, you get the T6 model. You get one infrared remote control, one HDMI cable, one AC power cable. You get one audio video cable, a 100 inches stretch projector screen, and a user manual. So as far as its design goes, it's a medium sized projector with a plastic housing and to the front it has an IR sensor and a lens cover. On the left side, it has one HDMI port, one VGA port, one headphone jack, one auxiliary jack, a standard size SD card slot and the exhaust vent. To its rear is where you'll find the second HDMI port, a USB 2.0 port, a rear facing IR sensor the AC power inlet and the internal speaker vent. To its right side is where you'll find the intake vent with a removable dust filter. At the top is where you have the manual button controls, the focus adjustment wheel and the vertical keystone correction lever. And below the projector you have four anti-skid rubber pads and a screw type kickstand. So I'll just take a moment to set this up and continue. So I'm back and I'm positioned at 2.1 meters from my projector screen. So this projector starts up with a top vision branding splash screen followed by the main menu. The main menu consists of your various video inputs such as its two HDMI ports, the AV port and the VGA port. It also comprises of the various options to read media stored on external storage devices connected to its USB port. Once a device is inserted, you will then gain access to the different media options. Under settings, you have four settings area starting with your picture settings. Under picture mode is where you can select your various color presets and you can also set your own custom color settings. You have color temperature options where you also have a selection of presets and the option to set your own color temperature. You can change the aspect ratio from 4 to 3 or 16 to 9. You have zoom settings, but this option only becomes available when playing video or viewing images. You have noise reduction settings. You have options when connected to a PC via the VGA port. And you have options to flip the screen horizontally or vertically. The next settings area is your song settings, where you can choose from a selection of audio presets or you can set your own treble and bass levels. You can adjust the balance. This works best when connected via the headphone jack. It has an auto volume option and surround sound audio options. Be careful with the SRX sound option because it can be too loud and rattle the internal speaker. You have sleep timer settings. And you have system options where you can change the language. You can restore factory default settings. It has HDMI CEC options. This is for when connected to a streaming media device. It will turn off its power the same time the media device turns off. You have OSD duration settings. And software updates via USB with media connected via its USB SD card or AV port you can play HD 1080p videos directly however it does not support surround sound audio formats
If you would like to play media above 720p resolution, you would have to use a streaming media device connected to one of its HDMI ports, but it will be downscaled to 720p. the mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Matteo Loof prizing presence on the bench as well. Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, the... So for a 720p projector, it's not too bad. Its lumens and edge sharpness is not the best compared to a 1080p model and it's recommended you use it in low light settings. Its built-in speaker, though it's loud enough to fill a small room or office, it's not very powerful and you can get a bit of distortion depending on which media you are playing. When applied to 3D gaming, it also delivers a decent picture. Its internal cooling fan generates around 51 decibels of fan noise at 1 meter. For outdoor activities, it comes with a 100 inches stretch projector screen. It has metal rings and plastic hooks with two sided tape for mounting on solid walls but you can also use a tin rope or strap for mounting between poles and trees. When used with the screen, you can expect the projection to look fuzzy compared to the matte fabric material used on my pull-down projector screen. And viewers, there you have it. This is Top Vision's introductory 720p model for the budget consumer. And you can look forward to the 1080p model, which I'll be featuring right here on this channel coming soon. So for only $89.99, you can get a decent picture with this model. You can get it on Amazon using the link in the description below, where you can also get a 30% discount coupon on the purchase page, which reduces the price to $63, which is a steal of a deal, so be sure to check it out. 
Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. If you are a first time viewer, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notifications bell below this video to be notified when I release new videos. So stay tuned and see you in the next one.